Earning respect within the art of fists has never been an easy task. With strength, skill, and endurance, you must carve your path, overcoming tough obstacles until your worth within the boxing ring is undeniable. While throughout history, great warriors have been underestimated based on their appearance, place of origin, or background, what do you think happens when a TikTok star tries to venture into boxing? Welcome, in today's video, I will tell you about the time Ryan Garcia had to face the man who didn't recognize him as an equal and boasted about the harm he would inflict once they entered the ring together. Stay until the end because you won't want to miss the outcome of this chapter in the recent history of boxing. Despite belonging to the new generation of fighters, those primarily known for their fame on digital platforms, when the time came, Ryan Garcia proved his worth within the boxing ring. From the first second, the internet sensation made sure to separate the image people saw of him online from the one he wanted to create inside the ring by throwing ruthless punches and presenting an aggressive offense as the best tool for victory. Not forgetting the nature of his online origins, Garcia presents himself in the ring as a new option that blends combat with entertainment, making him a sensation for fans worldwide. However, it's precisely the online image that led many fighters to refuse to step into the ring with him, claiming he was just another youngster with enough influence to pretend to be anything without having the substance needed to build a true warrior of the ring. All of this would change after the events of 2018. Facing Braulio Rodriguez, a fighter with a solid foundation, Garcia gained the opportunity to prove to someone who had doubted his status as a genuine adversary what he was made of. Their encounter at the weigh-in only added fuel to the fire that was already burning between them. Rodriguez, who often labeled Garcia as unworthy, to say the least, decided to take the provocation a step further by pushing him with such force that immediately took him out of frame. Fortunately, the fighters were separated in time before the conflict escalated further. It simply wasn't the place or the moment. On September 15th, during the Canelo vs. Rocky fight, was precisely the time and place where both fighters could unleash all their pent-up anger and, through their fists, make it clear who had the strength and endurance to prevail over the other. As soon as the bell rang to start the match, there was an explosion. With two fighters willing to go all the way, it didn't seem surprising that the fight was intense from the beginning. Garcia's premature legacy, executed by his powerful left hook, sent Rodriguez to the canvas, setting the tone for the rest of the match. World before the fight this year, for one of the Woo! teams, good hook, and Rodriguez goes down. Now, the one who had used the media to mock his opponent had to regroup, picking up the pieces of his shattered pride that had been scattered on the ring, and face a reality. Garcia was more than a weak social media fighter. Under this pressure, Rodriguez immediately realized he had been messing with the wrong man. Full of confidence, direct punches, and hooks, Garcia continued to hinder the Dominican's path to victory who showed signs of dirty fighting, possibly due to the frustration he began to feel after his brief visit to the canvas and all this only in the first round. During the subsequent rounds, Garcia demonstrated that the initial knockdown was not a stroke of luck. The consistency of his offense made him look like a fighter prepared to go beyond the first round and even contain those fighters who did not see him as an equal. On the other hand, it seemed that Rodriguez did not have a clear idea of how to approach the fighter he had discredited. He seemed like a wounded caricature in the ring, trying his luck in the hope that one of his clumsy punches would land on Garcia's body and do at least some damage that he had already suffered. The youngster, who had been underestimated, believed to only step into the ring for a show on social media, was setting a great example of what it meant to be a boxer. While the real fighter behaved like a true child in the ring, Rodriguez knew that if he fought conventionally against Garcia, there was no chance of winning. Therefore, he decided to add a bit of madness to his performance and try to confuse him, hoping that his unpredictable and illogical movements would take him to the end of the scheduled rounds. This theory was proven when Garcia cornered him against the ropes and executed a powerful combination of explosive punches with enough force to expel him from the ring. Trying to get by that extended left hand, and he does right hand and a hook by Garcia. As the contest progressed, Garcia set a good example of not getting annoyed or anxious in the ring and just boxing. Rodriguez was not an easy opponent, not precisely because of his good fighting style. 
He seemed like a clown in the ring with an attitude that could irritate anyone. For him, he was simply doing what was necessary to survive, but how far could his impertinent attitude take him? The beginning of the end for the provocative Dominican came during the fifth round where it became clear that Garcia was the only one dictating the pace of the fight. A perfectly executed hook would welcome the decline of a fighter who had lost since that knockdown in the first round and had been floundering since then. Shortly after, Ryan sealed the deal, claiming his 17th victory and increasing his professional record to 14 knockouts. Thus, Rodriguez had to learn the hard way that words are the body's worst punishment. And, wow! How did he weather that? Another one! And a hook! And down he goes! If you've made it this far, I appreciate it. Remember that the best way to support my content is by leaving a like on the video. Do you know of any other fights where Ryan Garcia has shown his valor in the ring? Tell me about it in the comments. I'll be reading them.